Hi guys, um, how are you today? This is Alan from Jose Financial. So, well, it's Friday, so it's our once a week forest corner. So, well, up until now, we have talked about a lot on the um on the basic um knowledge on the forest market, and then for today, finally, we will be um talking about a simple trading strategy for you to trade in the forest market. So, uh, well. For this strategy, um, we will be only using three lines. So, um, well, for the ones that you might already know, it's gonna be the simple moving average. So, we will be using the simple moving average, three simple moving average to help us to trade in the forest market. So, a simple moving average is, uh, well, is the um one of the most um most used trading tool in the forest market, and this is what we call the technical indicators so we use technical indicators to help us to analyze the market and then to help us to take profit in the first market so uh well um in this lesson we will take a look at the theory of the simple moving average and then we will be um taking a look at the setting of the simple moving average and then finally we will be um getting on to the purchase timing for us to strike for profits when using the simple moving average so first we will take a look at the theory of the simple moving average okay so well the purpose for a simple moving average is that um, traders are trying to use the simple moving average or moving average to identify a clear overall direction of the market and then um, they will follow that direction and then they will place their orders um, following that direction. So um, well, um, if we take a look at this chart here so um we see these um green and white um rectangles so um this is what we call the um the candlestick so um a candlestick a white candlestick indicates that the price is going down and a um a green candlestick indicates that the price is going up so if we only take a look at the color of the candlesticks the it's pretty straightforward so um there's no confusion at all so but then if when we come to a live trading environment we see a lot of candlestick line up together and then that makes it confusing and then that makes it hard for beginners to um tell whether the price is going up or whether the price is going down by only looking at the candlestick itself and then that's why um that's where the simple moving average comes in so um the simple moving average actually um average out the price movement for a certain period of time and then it makes the um, movement look more smooth more clear more um, more easier easier to recognize and then um, so for beginner is a really useful tool to identify a um, a overall market direction by using the simple moving average and then um, and then that's why we will be using the um, three simple moving average to identify a overall market direction and then to um to spot the the correct timing for us to strike for profits. Okay, so well before I can get to the purchase timing, then uh well first we will set up the um the three simple moving average on our chat. So um we will um do it on a live platform and then just try to follow me and then, well it's pretty simple to set up. So uh, well first of course we'll open up the um the MT4 platform then uh we will click on insert which is is on this top menu here so just click on insert then we go to indicator and then under indicator we have a lot of different types of indicators so we go to trend so um and then we go to moving average so click on moving average okay so now um we have the um, move, moving average setting here. So um, for the first um, simple moving average, I will set the period to 10. So, uh, well, this period here is the period that the simple moving average is gonna calculate. So um, let's say um, if I put 10 here and if I use a one minute chart, then um, that means that um, the simple moving average is gonna calculate 
the past 10 minutes of the price movement or if I'm using a 5 minutes chart and um, if the period here is 10 then um, the simple moving average is going to calculate the past 50 minutes price movement so that's what the period is for so um, for this one for the first simple moving average we will keep it to 10 so um, after we set the um, period here so uh, well in here is the style so you can change the color and the style of the line so um, just for you to see clearer so I will change the thickness of this line so I will change it to a uh, thicker line so um, just choose whichever that is easier for you to see so I just pick this one here for now so um, after we choose um, all these options then now we can click on OK Okay, so well, there we go. We have a red line on our chart, and this is the first simple moving average. So, um, well, the the period that we use in this simple moving average is a ten period simple moving average. So we will say that this is a short term simple moving average. So just remember, the red color simple moving average is a short term simple moving average. Okay, so well, um, now we move on to the second simple moving average. So uh, what we need to do is just to repeat the same step as just now. So we go to insert, indicator, and then we go to trend. And then we just choose um, moving average again. Okay, so well, for the second simple moving average, we will choose uh, we will put 20 as the period and um, just to make it easier to um, recognize and to separate from the previous short term simple moving average we will change the color so um, the color in here just click on it and then for now I think for this one I will change it to green so um, okay so just click OK after we have all this setting decided so click on OK so now I have a green simple moving average on our chart and then that's the um, that's the second simple moving average we need and that is the 20 period simple moving average so um, we use a 20 period here so it's longer than 10 periods so um, we will say this is a mid-term simple moving average Okay, so now we have two simple moving average here. So finally, we will set up the, um, the last, the third simple moving average. So just repeat everything we did just now. So go to insert, indicator, trend, simple moving average, oh, sorry, moving average. So just click on it. And then for the last um, simple moving average, we will use a longer period so we will use a 100 period um, as the um, as the setting for the last for the third simple moving average meaning that if I'm using a one minute chart then the the period that it, the simple moving average is going to calculate is going to be 100 minutes so um, that's the period so um, this 100 period simple moving average Okay, so well, um, lastly, just to separate the um, long-term simple moving average from the previous two, I will change the color to yellow. So, uh, well, you can just choose whatever you want, but uh, for now, let's um, do a yellow simple moving average. So just click on OK. Okay, so well, now we have three simple moving average on our chart. And then, uh, well, next we'll take a look at the purchase timing. Okay, so well, before I can explain to you how to use the simple moving average, there's one thing that I need to mention is that um, when we trade in a forex market, um, the price goes up and down. You see here, we see a lot of um, green and white candlesticks, so it goes up and down like that. But then um, even though it goes up and down, um, there are times that the market is going to develop in a particular into a particular direction so that direction we call it a trend so um so when the price is going up overall we call it a uptrend 
or when the price is going down overall, we call it a downtrend. So um, we will be following this trend directions and then we will place an order that in regards to that direction to aim for profits. So that is actually a advantage of trend market because as long as we figure out the um, the trend direction and we follow that direction, we will have a better chance for us to um, take in profit when trading in the first market. So um, this is what trend is for and this is what trend is about. So uh, well, next we will try to use the um, the simple moving average to identify trend direction. So uh, if we take a look at this chart here, so now you see, we will take a look at the, um, the yellow simple moving average. So you see now the yellow simple moving average is below the candlestick and it's obviously heading upward. So now we can say that the price is in a potential uptrend. So um, the, when the price is in an uptrend, then um, the price goes up overall and then that is a timing for us to place a buy order. So we expect the price to go up. So how do we um, use the simple moving average to look for the exact timing to open our orders, to place our orders? So well, um, take a look at the, um, at the green and red simple moving average. So the timing for us to place in buy order is when the red simple moving average, the short term simple moving average is on top. So when the red simple moving average is on top, then we will place a buy order. So we ex expect the price to go up. Or if we want to maximize the, our, our profit, then we will place a trade at when the, the red simple moving average just went on top of um, the other two simple moving average. So in that way, we can actually maximize the profit amount. So that's how we, um, we open a buy option, a buy order in a first market using the um, simple moving average. So next, we will take a look at the um, timing for us to place a sale order. So if we take a look at this um, chart here, the simple moving average is, uh, the yellow simple moving average is above the candlestick and then um, and it's obviously, it's obviously it's heading downwards. So um, now we will say that um, the price is in a potential downtrend. So when price is in a downtrend, um, the, the price goes down overall. So that's the timing for us to try to open a sale order. To place a sale order. So um, the, the exact timing for us to place a sale order is when the red line is at the bottom. So when the red line is at the bottom, we will place a sale order. So and um, it's pretty similar. So if we want to um, maximize our profit, then um, we will place a sale order at when the red simple moving average just went to the bottom at the exact timing when the simple uh, the red simple moving average went to the bottom of the three simple moving average. So um, that's when that's how we um, we we spot for timing to open to place a sale order. So uh, well um, next I will try to use this um, three simple moving average on the MT4 platform and then. We will try to place a trade at a moving market in a live platform. Okay, so well, um, just let me open. Let's just let me place an order first, and I will explain it to you. Um, the the timings and the things that you need to keep in mind. Okay, so well, I opened it. I placed. I placed a sell order here with one lot, which is um, 100,000 units. So um, now, um, as I explained just now, we see that now the, the simple moving average is actually um, went above the candlestick and is heading downwards. So at this point here, we can say that the price is now in a downtrend. 
So when the price is in a downtrend, meaning that the price goes down overall. So that's why I was looking for the timing to place a sell order. So um, when I played before before I placed the sell order, I took a look at the um, at the red and um, and green simple moving average. So now. As I explained, the, sim the, the, the red simple moving average went to the bottom of the three simple moving average. So that is the exact timing that for me to place a sell order. So now once I place that order, we see that the price is now going down already. So um, now you see um, at the profit here. It's still minus, but uh, I'm pretty sure it's gonna go. Um, it's gonna be end in profit here. So uh, what I'm gonna do now is that um, I will fast forward this video and then um, I will um, get back to you when this um, this order is um, is turned into profit. Okay, so well now you see at the profit amount there is already turning into profit, so it's a positive result here. So uh, at this moment we can actually close this trade at any time we want when we think that um, we we have enough profit or if you think the market the price is gonna bounce back, we can close this order. So uh, well for now I will just close it now and I. Just um, for the purpose that um, for you to see how I close a trade. Okay, so click on the cross. Okay, click on the cross and then we'll close this trade. Okay, so well, now let's take a look at the account history. So now you see um, all these three trades here. So at uh, the bottom three, I actually make these three trades with the same strategy. So, um, you see the, the top one here, I make $300 profit and then that's because I left the, um, the left, I left the position there for a few days and then, uh, well, of course, the, the longer period, um, the longer period of the, the, the trade is, the, the, the more profit you, you, you can expect. So, um, and, um, and the last one here, it was only $8 because, um, that only lasted for, I think, 10 minutes. So um, that's actually one of the um, the advantage when you trade in the forest market because when you trade in the forest forest market you can actually control the trading period. So um, um, and if you can control the trading period, then um, you can control the profit loss as well, and then um, and then you can control the risk as well. So that is actually one of the biggest advantage when you trade. In the first market, so well, um, that's pretty much it about this um, simple moving average strategy, and then um, it's pretty simple, and uh, it's one of the easiest um, strategies for first trading you can get out there. So um, if you are interested in first trading, make sure to give this strategy a try. And uh, well, if you do have any question on the strategy, just feel free to leave me a comment down there and then I can try to discuss with you a bit more. So, um, or if you do have any strategy that you want to know about uh, for trading, leave me a comment down there as well. Maybe I can get, I can make it into the next video for you. So, um, okay, so well, that's pretty much it for today. If you like my video, give me a like and subscribe to my channel for more live trading video. And I will see you soon again next week. Bye.